Hi everyone, thank you for watching. My name is Silver if you are new and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be swatching and trying on all of the Bite Beauty Matte Cream Lip Crayons. It was really hard for me to get out. So I have 18 different shades here. I recently bought a vault at TJ Maxx and it comes with 18 different shades. On their website they have 23 shades so I'm missing a few that must be some of the newer ones that released. Um, but I have quite a few, almost all of them, so I want to get right into this video and show you guys how they look on dreams, it. Jumping on a trampoline, flipping in the air. So I am wearing one shade right now. This is called Amaretto, and on their website it's described as a peach nude, which I do agree, and peach nudes are some of my favorite for my skin tone. Now I'm a little more medium, so someone that's very fair and wants to do like a paler nude, there's not really anything in this collection. Um, this might look more brown on someone lighter than me, but for me it is the perfect nude, and it's so creamy, glides on amazing. It's got pretty good coverage too. It's very opaque. Um, I haven't, I guess I have worn these. They do, they do come off eventually. Um, I'm not sure about, it says it's water resistant. So water resistant color. Let's take a drink of water. Not that this will like prove anything or just like pour water on my lips. It's like almost the same color as my lip. Like, I just took it off my top lip. It's basically the same color. Like, this is my favorite nude. Those are just the color of your lips. Okay, this next shade is called Leche. And I'm on Sephora's website right now, like clicking on the color so I can tell you what it's described as. Leche is a dusty pale pink. And I would agree with that. Um, it is a little, it's very similar to Amaretto, but it does have like more of a pink undertone and not so much of a peach one. What's nice about these crayons too is that they twist up and they do have like somewhat of a point on them and the bottom is a sharpener. So if you get to a point where you've been using it so much and it's really rounded, you can sharpen it to get that point back. And the point is really nice for just giving you a super defined edge. So again, this is Leche, and it is very similar to Amaretto. These are two of the lightest shades in the collection. Um, it seems like they might have, I'm not sure which ones I don't have. And like I said, I have 18 and there are 23 on the website. So um, I'll figure that out once I start going through all the shades, but this is Leche. This is a very wearable, like pinky nude, and I like it a lot. Next color is Glaze. Glaze is a dusty mauve. So it is very similar to the last two. This was maybe a shade darker. It has more of like a purpley mauve undertone. So this is like definitely the darkest of the nudes. And then from here on out, they're all dark or bright. So they don't have a very good nude selection. But the three that they do have, I think, you know, they have a pink, they have a peach, and they have a mauve one, will be good for tan to darker skin tones. Um, if you're really light, then you might not find a good nude in this collection for you, but they are so pretty, so the last two would probably look better on someone fair. But again, this is Glaze. I like it. So a lot of these um, names are kind of weird, and I don't know how to pronounce them, so I'm probably going to sound really stupid, but this next shade is Tatin. T-A-T-I-N, I'm not really sure how else to pronounce that. And this is described as a rose pink. So this is a very wearable pink. For some reason on camera, I feel like it looks brighter than it is. In person, it just seems like a very like muted pink, but then when I'm looking at myself in the viewfinder, it looks like it's like really bright. So I'm not sure how that's gonna come up, but I mean, it's definitely a pink. It's more of a, it's not super neon. It's not super bright. So if you're just easing into the pink shades, this would be a good one for you. It's it's a little lighter, but it's, um, it's very like a daytime pink, I would say. Okay, so this is described as a warm pink. I do agree um, in certain lighting, this might look more of like a red, but it's definitely just a 
like a medium toned pink. Um, I do like it. I, I still think this is more of a very wearable pink for the daytime. Um, it's not super bright. It's just kind of muted, but it is really pretty. And this one glided on really well. Okay, this one is called Pas Pastel. Pastel. I suck so bad at these names. This is a dusty mauve. It's a dusty mauve. I do like this color. Like, I think that it's pretty. It's not something that I would reach for a lot. I'm not a huge, like, once they start getting into, like, the purple hues, for some reason, I just don't like it on my skin tone. But it is a pretty color. Very wearable. It's not super crazy. So I think this would be another daytime pink that would be easy to transition to if you're not used to pinks. Um, it's not that bad. Now, this is brandy, and this is described as a, as a muted raspberry. This one is super creamy. I like this one. I don't mind a raspberry. It's like a simple, this would ease you into a darker lip or a brighter lip. So, um, yeah, it's easy to wear. It's not bad. Now this is Pesh and this is a warm peach. They are on point with their descriptions. Um, it's it's an orangish red, but it is very wearable. It's not super bright. It's not dark. It's not neon. Um, it is really pretty. Reds and oranges are like some of my favorite colors to wear. So I would wear this and it's more of like a daytime, not so dramatic bright. Um, some of these next ones are going to be very bright. So this is a very wearable orange, I would say. I like it. And this is Pesh. Now this one is one of my favorites. This is Rose Hip and this is a vibrant red. This is so pretty. I'm definitely gonna get a lot of wear out of this. This isn't like the brightest red I've ever had. Um, it is, I would say it's just a very like true like red. Um, and on camera it looks way brighter than it does in person. But it is pretty. Um, this glided on amazing. It feels amazing. It's just a very pretty, like true red. So if you're looking for just a, a red, then rose hip will be your color in this collection. And this next one is a little darker, and this is called red velvet, and this is described as a rich, deep red. Wow. After so many, it's like I forgot how to apply lipstick. This looks terrible. So this is rose hip, and this is a deep burgundy red. Um, this would be good for like winter time, Christmas. I really like it, it's very pretty. It didn't apply as nicely as the other ones and like I said, it's so subtle. They all really are super creamy but this one was one of those where I felt like it was a little harder to apply but it's very pretty, I like it. Rose hip. Oh wait, no, oh my God, red velvet. This is red velvet. Okay, this one is called I don't know. F R A I S E. I don't know if that spells. Frage. And it is a jewel red. I'm not sure what jewel red means, but I would describe this as more of like a strawberry red. Um, it definitely is red. It's a little darker than rose hip, um, and it's a little lighter than red velvet, but this is a definitely a red with a little bit of like a pink undertone. Um, it's very pretty. It's very like strawberry red. I would wear this. And this is fra Frage. Frage. It's like I want to put like a twist on the name, but I don't know if like a like a French accent, but I don't know if that's how it's supposed to be pronounced. But like I don't know what that word is. I don't know what that means. Looks well, nice that my lips like don't even hurt. They feel fine. I thought I was gonna my I just have like naturally really dry lips, so I thought I was gonna be like in pain after this, but they feel amazing. They feel like I just put chapstick on or something. The second favorite color, and this is blood orange, and this is described as an intense red. So pretty. I feel like these colors just make your teeth look white. They make your skin look tan. Oh, I love this one a lot. So this is blood orange, and maybe this is my this is my favorite. Rose hip is number two. Now this is another bright one that is going to be my favorite. This is Pink Lady and it is a bright pink. 
This is very pretty. This is like a your basic bright Barbie pink. Um, I like it a lot. It's not super crazy neon. Again, it's it's vibrant, but it's not like the most neon color that I've ever seen, which is good because then it's a little easier to wear for everyone. But this is just a very bright pink. It's the one of the brightest shades in the collection. If you're like looking at the swatches online, so I have it on that pink. Like you can kind of see that it's the brightest out of those swatches. And it's really pretty, super wearable, super creamy. So if you're looking for a bright pink, this would be a good one. Um, feels amazing on the lips. These feel like chapstick. Now this is Framois, and this is really beautiful too. This is a vibrant pink slash purple. This one feels super creamy. Now this is a really pretty color. It's not a color that I would reach for a lot because like I said, I'm not really into the purple tones, but um, it is a very wearable, bright pinkish purple. Um, it's described perfectly. I like it a lot. It's, it's not super crazy, but it is bright enough that you feel like you've got a bold lip on. I like it. This is cognac and on here it describes itself as a dark brown. This looks so terrible. Not, not that it looks hurt, my application is terrible. Oh, wow. Okay, you get the idea. This application is so bad. So it is a dark brown. Um, I like it a lot. I do like browns and dark colors, so I would wear this. Um, for some reason, I feel like browns, brown lipsticks, I have a hard time keeping them on my lips. I feel like you definitely need, definitely need a liner when doing a dark or a dark brown color. It, it just seems to bleed out easy, easier, and I don't know why, but, um, and that's why I think maybe this application looks so terrible. But on someone with a deeper skin tone, this might be more closer to like just a nude or a natural look. Um, it's definitely dark on me, but it makes my teeth look really white, which I always like. And yeah, I think this is a, it's one of the dark browns that's actually creamy. So a lot of like my liquid lipsticks, um, like True Brown by Kylie Jenner, it's so dry and it's almost hard to wear. And also, um, what's the other light brown one? Dolce K. Um, that one's also super drying and I never reach for it because it's just like, it sucks the life out of my lips. So this is actually a brown that's wearable, it's creamy, and it's pigmented. So... If you're looking for just a very like true brown, this is a very good one. This next shade is Ambergini or Auber Aubergine. I don't know, I probably sound so dumb. So this is described as eggplant. This one looks like a little patchy when I'm applying it. Like it's not super pigmented. I don't know if you can tell, but like, it almost just kind of looks see-through right here. So it's definitely not as opaque as the other ones. Um, and this is a shade that I wouldn't really reach for. It's it's on the purple spectrum that I'm just not a fan of. It's not a bad color though. It, it is pretty. I think maybe on like a deeper skin tone this would look really well. Um, it's not my favorite, but it's okay. I think this is the only one where I felt like it was kind of patchy. So it's not as like, like opaque as the other ones, but it's not bad. It's still like a pretty color. I can appreciate the color, but it's just not for me. It's not my favorite. Okay, this is the darkest shade in the collection, and this is called Truffle. This one as well is patchy, so I don't know if it's just the darker shades. That brown one was okay though, but this is definitely, oh, you can tell, it's, it's like more sheer. So it's described as a deep brown. Even this tube right here like looks like it has purple in it. It's definitely like a purple brown. That's what I would describe it as. So it's not my favorite. Um, I don't mind this color. Like it kind of looks like black, which I like those shades, but this formula just kind of sucks. So I would definitely maybe like put something under it or do like a really dark liner and then maybe it'll be okay. Um, and it's a creamy lipstick too. So it's not something that you can like build up like with liquid lip like a liquid lipstick um it's like the more i apply the more it just kind of like moves around so and they, these don't really dry like they're very creamy and they stay creamy so i don't know this shade's kind of weird i feel like those, those last two were not as pigmented not as opaque as the other ones so 
I don't know if I'll be reaching for this a lot, but again, this was truffle. And so now that I've gone through most of the shades, I know which ones I don't have in this collection. And it's actually, there's like, let's see, I have 18 and then there's like 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. So there's five shades that I don't have. So one of those is licorice, which is an ox blood and it's very, it looks very like a dark purple. And then I don't have black truffle. So this is truffle and then black truffle I don't have and it's described as a black velvet, which this looks like a black velvet to me because this is very like purple. I don't have molasses, which is a rich toffee and it kind of looks like a, like a reddish brown. Um, and then sugar cane, which is a pale pink. Kava, which is lilac beige, which is kind of an interesting name. So um, yeah, those five I don't have. I don't know if those are newer and this vault is just old or that's probably what it is. But honestly, my lips feel good. Like they feel hydrated. Okay. so. This last shade is called Blanc, and I'm not really sure like what this is supposed to be used for. The details are just very um, basic for all of the shades, so not each shade has a description, it just has like a, a color description. So this is white, and I don't really know like what you're supposed to use this for. Maybe if you put this underneath of something, or maybe if you were, I don't know, like doing, art on your lip or something i just don't know like when you would ever be like oh yeah tonight i'm gonna wear my white lipstick what it's definitely not as <laughs> as opaque as the color <laughs> i look like a like those milk ads like got milk maybe this is what they used for that like why would you ever want to wear oh it makes my teeth look yellow this is my favorite shade. This is Blanc. I like literally can't stop laughing. I wanted to save this one for last because I haven't tried this on. I knew it was going to be good. So, it's very creamy and it is not as opaque as the other ones. It's a little see-through. Okay, on camera it doesn't look that bad, but in my mirror, like, my teeth look yellow because this is so white. I guess they still look okay, but, like, why would you ever want to wear this lipstick? I don't understand. I know Jeffree Star has a liquid lipstick that's white, and when I see pictures of that, it looks, like, very pigmented. And, again, it's a liquid lipstick, so it's a little different. But that one almost is, like, oh, maybe if it's Halloween or something, but, like, this looks terrible. This looks like I just, like... I don't know, like Ada Powder Donut or something. Like why, why would anyone ever wear this color? I don't get it. Maybe, okay, so I'm gonna try to put on a color on top of that. So since this is white, I'm gonna do like one of the bright colors. Rose Hip, which is the bright red. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, so this definitely just makes it look lighter. Um, because it's creamy, so they're just kind of like blending together and it like gets the tip of this white. So I guess maybe you could lighten up some of these shades with this. So I really like trying to figure out what to freaking do with this white color. So if you want your lips to look a little bit bigger, a trick is to like kind of make the, the middle of your bottom lip, bottom lip kind of lighter. So it gives you more of like a pout. So I'm thinking maybe if you did like, okay, so this is Amaretto. This is the shade I was wearing to start this video. And it's just a really nice nude. Pretty peachy nude. And then this is the white. Hmm, I don't know. And then look how like disgusting this looks. So this shade's weird. If you have this shade or if you've like seen other people wearing this and you know what it's for, please comment below and let me know because I'm kind of confused. Um, it definitely could be used to like blur out the middle of your lip to make it look lighter, to make it look bigger. I don't really know. I'm probably never going to wear this. Honestly, it's... That was funny though. Like I literally couldn't stop laughing. Oh, I just like totally took off the whole tip of it. Whatever. 
I feel like I need to put more amaretto on because I don't like the way that looks. Now it's so strange to me that these are called matte lip crayons because they are just so creamy and you saw me putting them on like they are I honestly feel like chapstick and then even when I was like taking all of them off I figured my lips would be like burning because they were dry and it just they still feel moisturized so that's a really good thing. Um, I think the packaging is really cute. They're just skinny, long. Um, the sharpeners at the end are a really good idea. That's super awesome if you lose the point and you wanna like really get that point back into kind of line your lips. That's a really awesome idea. So those are my 18 shades. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and please subscribe to my channel. Click the bell to get notified every time I upload a new video and please comment below with what you would like to see next. I do have another vault by Bite and it is a different um, lipstick. What is it? Amuse Bouge, Bouge. I don't know. I don't know what the, why are, why are Bite Beauty's names so difficult? Like I am just a girl from Ohio. I don't know how to pronounce these French words. I don't even know if they're French. Another vault with 36 different shades and I would love to swatch that one next if you guys are interested Let me know give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for your watching and Yeah, that's all Bye. I've been having dreams Jumping on a trampoline Sucre Sucre? I don't know Framois. I do know how to pronounce that one.